Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm Hunter Black Luna. And let's check Hotmail. Alright, we got some payment for our work. Uh oh. Billy. In any case, that's a creepy as fuck message. I don't remember if that ever comes to anything, but it's creepy as fuck. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Carry on, Presley. Alright, let's check out what we have. Looks like we're done here. Except for that planet over there. Let's get it mapped. And of course it's a rich planet. I'd love to come back here sometime. Yeesh. You know what, if we ever get hard up, like really hard up, we'll go to Fair Yard. But for now, let's just head back to the System Hub and GTFO. I like that plan. Very Starflight-ish, this whole section is. That's not bad at all. Let's load her up. And we're fairly well done here. Yay. See, it doesn't even show up as anything on the map. Project Overlord, which I don't want to do yet. We could do Zayed's loyalty mission, but you need a high uh, morality score, either Paragon or Renegade. Before you do this, I mean like really high. We probably won't do this till near the end game. Looks like it's time to go recruit Dr. Oak here. I've always wanted another Krogan aboard. Rex was fun. Cordless is not the Krogan homeworld, however. We'll probably be visiting that later. Usually the things closest to the star have the huge mineral deposits. Probe launched. I'm not feeling too much like BSing around, so I'm just gonna get the biggest concentrations and say fuck it. Probe away. Like this one. Probe away. Might as well front load some resources to do some upgrading later when I'm feeling more lazy. Probe launched. Still moderate, huh? Probe we'll see away. about that. Jesus. Guess we will. Probe launched. Alright, we're done with you. I'm gonna eventually start off-screening the mining, because really there's not, like, aside from learning which planets have Ezo or not, it's really doesn't have much of a point. In fact, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna off-screen mine this whole system, and we'll be right back when I've done that. Hey guys, we're back. Just to note, Quotus here, it's very likely that Quotus has Ezo, Launched. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe not, I don't know. Probe away. The description specifically mentioned refueling stations and stopping off like spaceships stopping here, so 
I don't know. Probe away. I suppose I was wrong. Guess I'll be back again, guys. Probe away. Alright, that didn't take terribly long. And now we head to Corliss. Which is a garbage scout with a climate. It's a hive of scum and villainy. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass. A spectacle of urban decay. And there's a travel advisory. This place is the second in murder per capita in the Terminus systems, which is a re region that is notorious for its instability and warfare. So yeah. <laughs> Sounds perfect for us. Let's get rocking. I'm a big believer in doing everything on screen in an LP. That's part of the game experience. But occasionally I might take mercy in you guys and off screen the mining, because it, it really is, it's just, it's me shooting probes at planet. You've seen it before. You've seen a bunch of it before, actually. I don't know, I'll have to think on it, because I have a little bit of a dilemma, because when I watched an LP of Sonic 06, the fact that they kept in all the loading screens was odious, but it also really helped convey the feeling of actually playing the game, which is what one of the things that might distinguish an LP from just a standard walkthrough, I think. You know what, Kasumi? Let's roll. Kasumi's our bro away from bros. Uh, we're gonna be fighting Krogan and mercenaries. Oh, who am I kidding? We gotta take Jack along. You know what? Maybe Jacob wouldn't be so bad either. Squad incendiaries? Yeah, I use Kasumi a lot, so how about instead we take Jacob and Jack and we have us a little biotic party? Good stuff. Alright, Jack, welcome to the team. Have a rank in that. Have a rank in that. Subject zero. Power recharge time is really nice here. Let's think. Shockwave actually seems like a pretty BA power. So let's fully upgrade it. We can take heavy shockwave or improved shockwave. I like heavy shockwave. It's a biotic freight train. I like running those into my enemies. Everybody else is good to go? Let's rock. Make sure plasma shotgun, phalanx. Yeah, we're good to go. This heavily reminds me of a planet from Star Wars that was basically a giant trash heap, I guess. That's the dossier fun. doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Canned orders over loudspeaker? Who does that? Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. I don't know, that sounds like a Cerberus thing to do, Jacob. Eh. Alright, let's put on squad incendiaries and our tech armor. And proceed forward. Krogans like to get into close range. We have a lot of shotgun users. I'm hoping that's a combo that goes well in our favor. Whoa. That's actually a ship in motion. That's pretty impressive. Gotta admit, the scenery here is pretty nice. Man, that's some company, like, loyalty building exercises right there. Alright, hostiles up ahead, around the bend. Good question. And they know we're here immediately. 
because that's how it goes, I suppose. Hey, Jack. The shockwave kind of makes explosions like across the ground, like a bunch of them, and it's it's fairly simple. I don't know. Some good old incendiary shotgun blast. I actually, seem to be doing a decent amount of damage. It's not bad. Hey, Jack, do it again. Yeah, it does that. It kind of knocks everyone asunder. Pretty neato power to have. Ah, uh, having the power to burn my enemies alive. Not very Paragon. I'm okay with that. I'll deal. Let's recast tech armor when we're not in a fight at least. I think I can do that. Much. Hostiles are clear! Hello. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna I'm gonna you son of a bitch. He's not hurt that bad. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Time to be persuasive. I want your friends gone. Understand? And that's the Paragon choice, remember? Uh, patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. That's good to hear. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Was scaring him like that necessary? Maybe not. Felt good, though. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Very renegade-y, Shepard. In fact, that felt a little bit like a Dragon Age option. We'll be getting to that eventually, I'm... I can pretty much assure you. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation legal and otherwise. And we got rid of them, but only kinda, sorta. Oh, That's not really a big deal, it's not be able to tell. <clears throat> well, it looks like Jack is missing a lot, unfortunately. Ah. That is rather annoying though. I'm moving so much, motherfuckers. I need cover! I've got him! That hit for sure. <laughs> and moving on. Come on! And the next wave. Splendid. And there's the insane Krogan that they were talking about. That hits. Ooh! <laughs> Man. 
glad I upgraded that heavy shot wave. That gets kind of funny. That gets funny real fast. Well, he's burning to death, but only a little bit. He's mildly burning to death. Again, horrible burning death is the Paragon moves. Oh yeah. You betcha. And this is just standard business. You know how it goes. Fuck, I love watching them ragdoll like that. It's brilliant. Glad I brought Jack along. Jacob makes him burn, so he's cool too. Have a nice trip. Oh, just splendid. Man, I'd love some additional ammo. Yeah, they recognize we're coming anyway. Person needs to die. Wow. That person is fucked thorough. <laughs> the only problem with Jack's power is it takes a couple seconds to get to the victim. Other than that, I definitely have no complaints. Rockets are homing. Not a fan of that. Yeah, having to be shotguns at long range is dumb. I don't know, it still seems kind of effective. Man. Haha. <laughs> like I said, all I could use is a little more ammo and I'm ready to go. Alright, more enemies up ahead. Look out! Oh hey, a Krogan that's not hostile towards us. Very interesting. Uh, I tried to trick shot him. Pretty impressive Krogan too. Jesus. Man, I never had Jack leveled up all in the shockwave before, so this is kind of catching me off guard how awesome this ability is. When you upgrade, you just let the bitches fly. Nobody left but us. And the Krogan, don't forget. Just gonna grab some ammo and then have a nice chat. different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. Seven night cycles. Days. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread. To kill. No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Bit of a cryptic message. 
How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Taught it enough to test for something. For what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Who is? You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Repeating stuff without really understanding what it means. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. This another genophage cure attempt? Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. That Merc said these guys go crazy. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. We gotta see the lab. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Glad he's on our side for now. Fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. That's that. Time to head on out, everybody. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay Damn, right. There's no cover all the way down there. There is money, though. Yeah, here's where the game throws a pair of douchebags at you. And there's no cover, as far as the eye can see. So you gotta take them down clean, and you gotta take them down quick. And I mean, fucking quick. Fortunately, we are just about equipped to do so. And then recast tech armor hurriedly. On insanity, that part gets fun. Once again, I am using the Dwarf Fortress definition of fun, of course. Alright. I think in this part that Krogan just continually spawn at you from the other side of a little bridge thing, so we've just got to advance and bust through. Change weapons. Enemy yeah, I'm not a fan of this guy. And that didn't appear to do anything. That did. And more Krogan will come. You know what? Go back to your shotgun. Switch up. Mark. Oh dear. Oh, the incendiary is helping me out. Probably shouldn't kill the crates that are used for cover. I'm just hoping to advance quickly. Doesn't look like there's a way over from here though. 
Or maybe there is. There, and there's another path over there that we have to look to. Once we get to the other side, I think we'll be able to go back and loot. Because there's a couple interesting things here. Krogan income. More ugliness. Brilliant. That's not the way we needed to go. Just got a nice little place for us to take a stand with the cover. That throw doesn't do as much, but. Headed your way! Hey? You've got a bottomless chasm to drop bitches in. Everything usually turns out just fine. Reference the other four times we pull that trick. It's nice. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it's infinite. I know I'm not a goddamn fan of it. Especially since this requires us to get closer to the fucking crows. By the way, not a usually good idea. You know, the normal circumstances that might obtain the fight. Let's get closer to broken. I think I have to move past an invisible trick wire. I should go for a run by. Krogan on its way. Coming at us. We're blind and getting hit on all sides. Alright, I did a run by. Just to stop him from spawning. Time to die. And he's still focused on me. Yeah, you wanna do that, D Bang? Take the shields down and you're done. There we go. Good job, everybody. That fight can be a little tough, especially when you're playing on insanity. Or you're not an aggressive personality. Like me, I don't normally press up until the enemies die. That attitude will serve you ill in this fight. Ah, uh, there's a med kit here. I remember there being some loot, but I guess not much. Go ahead and keep it moving. Field is clear. Man, we threw this place into a tizzy. Just by our very presence. Let me check the time for a moment. Yeah, decent place to leave off. There's a pause in the fighting. I definitely don't want. The LP getting into two big chunks, because that is a bitch to upload and render and stuff. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Mass Effect 2, where we go deeper into the Merc compound and figure out who the hell is getting another army of Krogan. Seems a little familiar to Vermeyer, if you ask me. See you then.